Greetings, everyone. Good morning, Sunny Bonani Huyemore. My name is Nokwanda Dube from Department of Public Works. I will be the facilitator for today's Youth in Construction program. Um, can I request that we begin our program with the, the moment of silence where we are observing the lives that have been lost through the COVID-19, which is the pandemic that the country is currently facing. I will request that we observe just for a minute, then we'll proceed with our program. Thank you so much. We can then now start with our program, as I've already indicated, that we are in attendance of the Udin's Construction Workshop, which is convened by Department of Public Works uh, in, in the province. I will then request Mr. Damini, who will do the opening and welcome of today's session, to give us those remarks. Thank you. Over to you, Mr. Damini. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Program Director. Uh, greetings to the MEC. <coughs> uh, uh, greetings to the HOD and uh, our audience uh, for today's program. Uh, the 2020 Youth Month celebration is aimed at uh, commemorating the strides of the 1976 generation as it marks 44 years since the student uprising. Youth Month gives the department an opportunity to reflect on the continuous work done to realize radical social economic transformation of the vulnerable groups, especially youth in this instance. South Africa and the rest of the world are also faced with an unprecedented period in 2020 of COVID-19. While the country is facing a number of challenges of combating this pandemic, however, the, the, the government needed to strike the balance between the people's well-being and, and ensuring that the economic outlook is not affected negatively in the long run. The month of June has seen the country moved down to lockdown level three, opening up more economic activities under the strict COVID-19 measures. It is against this background that we host this virtual workshop. And let me take this opportunity as well to introduce our head of department, Dr. Shapley, who will then take us through and give us the purpose of the day uh, in detail. Uh, over to you, HOD. Thank, thank you so much, Mr. Damini. And uh, also thank you to the program director. I hope I am audible. Um, I also thank you, Mr. Damini, for that introduction and for placing into context the uh, why we are having this workshop. We must understand that uh, there is an ongoing uh, desire from governments through policy and also through legislation to try and uh, empower young people in various forms. And we, if we look at the current statistics of unemployment, there is an al alarming um, concern that amongst young people, they are not able to uh, find the right opportunities. We believe as public works that uh, we're not a job creation center, but rather an enabler for young people to uh, be creators of jobs. Um, from, as Mr. Lamini has pointed out, that from 1976, if you look at that generation uh, that was able to resist and say enough is enough, um, we 
are now inheritance of the privilege of being able to make uh, choices that will give an impact onto our young people. The Department of Public Program and through the MEC's policy uh, budget speech uh, have worked on a concerted effort to try and uh, create more opportunities for young people and ensure that the young enterprises um, feature more prominently. Recently on June 16th, when the Premier um, spoke to some young people to see where they are, and uh, you can see that there are pockets of excellence, but the truth is that it's not enough. The, one of the young people that was on the panel with the Premier is a architect that works with us in the department in the North Coast in Ulundi and came through the development program of the department. What we want to achieve today is that where we are sitting, we are making various policy decisions uh, with assumptions on young people. And today with Youth on Construction, we, we want to ask young people uh, their frustrations and what they consider to be the things that we could do better as a department, the things that we could improve and help uh, make things a little bit more easier for them to access uh, the opportunities uh, within the, the department. We do know that our target that we currently set to increase the the number of youth in construction is, is a reasonable target and Delhi and the team are working um, effortlessly to, to try and make sure that the young people uh, come through uh, the program. We're not going to make the assumption that young people's companies are only those who are emerging or startups, but we also want to give opportunities to those young people who have been able to set themselves up, who have been able to progress. And through that, we're saying that uh, we are targeting young people uh, throughout the CITB uh, gradings. The other program that, uh, that Delhi has been working on with the team is to ensure that when um, young people show potential, that there can be some form of incubation and, and to give them to hold their hand and create some training uh, that will enhance their companies. We know that some uh, some people are good at being a contractor, but they may not be good business people, and our responsibility will be to try and merge the two. Uh, we are looking in the medium term uh, to try and create uh, incubation for uh, industrialization, and uh, we want to create young people's factories, factories that can make furniture, factories that can make doors. And today we just want to hear from, from young people and share experiences. And we are not here to, uh, with a know-it-all attitude. We are here with receptive ears and open minds to say, teach us on how we need to do better uh, for the youth. Help us that when we look back after next year, next year and look back at COVID-19, we can also show some pockets of excellence uh, that we have been able to help some young people uh, out of this the, the, the pandemic to become better business people. We will get out of the pandemic. We will, things will get back to some sort of normality, even if it's what's called the new normal. And in that new normal, uh, a lot of us have, had an opportunity, in fact, all of us have had the opportunity to sit back and reflect on our own lives and the impact we have on others. And it's only through the impact on others that we are able to show an impact on our own lives. Uh, with those few words, uh, Chair, I wish to thank you and thank you for the opportunity and to our Honorable MEC, whose passion is to ensure uh, that uh, young people and women and the vulnerable groups are taken care of. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, HOD, Dr. Shapley, Siabongara Kulu, with those words. I got the sneaker corner e purpose of our session today. Gabonagalis and Belluguti, we are indeed led by our HOD, 
Siswile Nasisise Makaya or Sis Viewer Online, Ugutu SOD is indicating Uguti Ipeposa and Amtlanji for us together in this platform is to share my experiences. Uguti Senzaranjani, Ugu Mover Forward is also a contractor that are, are still growing with industry. SOD is also saying, Sifuno was Uguti as a Department of Public Works, where can we improve? As much as Gukone Squenzayo, but Akwanele, and we know Uguti, it is not enough. But to SOD, we are indicating Uguti Sifuno Wenza more, and Wenza Wetu more, Iona, the platform is born Uguti Asinge, Negiona Namtlanj, so that we can listen to you, Uguti Nina Nifunani, Nifuno Uguti so that we are able to achieve one goal who to send the South Africa in case that any even no siabonga cool SOD with those words. Uh, we will then move uh, to the next item. But before we move, I want to indicate to Buti we are streaming live on EKZN online ku YouTube, si atwalagala corner, we are live. Uh, also, we Facebook page, Yaga Kaiser and Public Works, we are also live. Siatela, Balalele Makaya on Facebook, Wigaka uh, CFM, we are also online in a corner. So, tell us to swap engage any or swap seven to seven kilama platform. If you have question, please post your questions in our Facebook page because we will have a session where this was called Manju, which is engage and deliberate on matters that concerns you most. I like the statement made by HOD to say we, we it's not only the sector of construction, but we want to tap even in 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 in, in the furniture industry. Ogushubuti Amatuba Baningi, the two public works, want to bring to and Abasha that are growing and have passion. Ogutubange, we feel the Yayo, Ama opportunities that are available again. See, I tell you, I'm going to participate, be with us, ask us questions. This is a was again. And thank you so much, Eshoti. Thank, so thank you so much, Ms. Delamini, with your opening and welcome remarks as well. We are moving to item number three which is a presentation that will be rendered by Umi Stelisile Mube uh, from our department. Over to you, Ms. Stelisile Mube. Good morning to our Honorable MEC, our HOD colleagues, and all youth that have uh, taken time to view and participate in this visual workshop that we are having as the Department of Public Works today. Uh, my name is Deli Silem Mube. I am the Director for Youth, Women, and People with Disabilities. Um, I'm going to be giving you a presentation um, of all the youth-focused programs we have as a department, hoping that we can share the knowledge and hoping that you can see as a youth person where you can um, participate and engage with the department because our main objective as the department is to see more youth participate in our programs, is to see more uh, women and people with disabilities, as well as military veterans, all the vulnerable groups um, identified in South Africa participating in more of our programs. Today is a special day, it's the Youth Month. Um, we are celebrating Youth Month in the whole of uh, June month. I'm going to start with my presentation. We have a number of uh, programs that are offered by the department uh, aimed at empowering the youth and giving access to economic opportunities. These programs are targeted at unemployed youth to give them access to employment opportunities and um, those include uh, support to enroll in higher ed learning, creating employment opportunities within the department and assisting youth to grow through business and by providing access to different opportunities. Uh, this presentation will outline the different programs that are offered by the Department of Public Works. Okay, um, last year we held a, a Youth in Construction and Property Summit, which was led by our MNC, P. 
Peggy Gonyeni. It was convened at Uubu District. It was on the 11th of July, 2019, and we had about um, 100 youth participating in that summit. The summit was designed to enable the youth to access opportunities in the construction and infrastructure development um, programs that we have as a department. A number of resolutions were taken during the summit, and the department has started incorporating those resolutions in its programming. The department has approved a transformation policy in the department that um, seeks to prioritize youth in opportunities that are available. The department has also started discussions and interventions to ensure that we have more youth accessing the opportunities that we have. We'll start with um, the bursary program. We have a bursary program as the department, which seeks to develop a pool of skills to the, in the built um, environment. The program also contributes towards achieving the objectives of the national youth policy. That program uh, targets youth uh, between 18 and 35 with a focus to women, uh, youth, women, and people with disabilities. Um, we as the department provide funding to students to complete their specified qualifications in the built environment professions. Uh, we fund uh, the degree, food um, and accommodation. Uh, the department funds these uh, national diplomas or degrees. We fund quantity surveying, architecture, engineering, real estate and property evaluation, construction projects management, um, in the past financial year, we awarded 18 bursaries to students pursuing these various degrees that I mentioned earlier. We also have the work integrated learning, which we call the WHEEL program. This one targets students that require service in service training benefits from this program by obtaining practical exposure to the workplace to complete their qualifications. This applies mainly to technical, vocational and educational training colleges and national diplomas from University of Technology in the disciplines like engineering. The requirements, you must be studying towards any qualification at any tertiary institutions. Uh, when applying, you need to fill our Z83, which is obtainable at our public service offices, and then the trainees will be required to sign the contract with the department. Uh, the department will advocate a mentor, which will assist that student to gain the practical um, expertise in that job, develop a training plan with the mentor, attend progress meetings, submit log sheets and progress reports. And the department currently has seven WILL students who have participated or who, have, who are currently enrolled in this program. And then we have our internship program. For the internship, um, the, the department seeks to address the skills shortage in our country. Graduates are given an opportunity to, to obtain practical work experience in our respective disciplines. Um, the requirements that we have as the department, you, you must be studying towards any of these uh, qualifications, quantity surveying, architecture, engineering, real estate and property evaluation. And, and to apply, you use our um, Z83 um, form, which is obtainable at any public service offices, and then you put it. We currently have 42 interns uh, that are enrolled in our department, which are under these um, qualifications. And then we have uh, the infrastructure development program. The department in its training up opportunities for young people. Um, the opportunities are government infrastructure investment projects, which includes the new and replaced infrastructure, rehabilitation, renovations, refurbishments, upgrade and addition projects. In each financial year, the department has targeted vulnerable groups to benefit from the infrastructure development projects as part of the socio-economic transformation. The financial year, this financial year, we have uh, targeted 50 projects um, for youth, and we will, we will see the number growing in the next financial years. And then we have our famous ASCs, the Contractor Development Program. Uh, this program seeks to develop emerging contractors by giving them work opportunities or uh, projects that we have as a department in order to grow their companies through the CIPED grades. We are targeting Black African, 
women, youth in the main, and um, we're targeting contractors between grade one to six in all CIDB categories within the KZN uh, province. We as the department have the ASC database, which is currently open uh, for youth to um, apply and be part of uh, the database so that you can get uh, opportunities to grow your business. Okay, the program aims to increase capacity, equity ownership, sustainability, quality and performance of CIDP registered contractors and those participating in the program. We also seek to transfer skills and improve qualifications through training that we offer on the program. We also increase access. We have a project track record whereby we track each contractor in the program to see if they are growing according to the, pro to the program. We also uh, assist with uh, through our partnership with um, Italia Bank as well as APSA for uh, funding opportunities. We also have established stakeholder management and we also lobby uh, more sectors to be involved in the program. Uh, in this financial year, we have spent about 87.3 million worth of projects awarded to the contractors within the ASC uh, development program. And within that, 37.4 million went to youth owned contractors. And a total of 100 youth contractors benefited um, from this program, which translates to about 43.3% of youth that benefited in this financial year alone. Then we have the expanded public works program. The EPWP is the nationwide program that seeks to provide unemployment people with work opportunities and training to enhance their capacity to earn in an income. The Department of Public Works is responsible for the overall coordination of the provincial program. The department alone in the last financial year created about 6,322 6, work opportunities through its maintenance program. And then the province exceeded the set targets by over 31,000 work opportunities. Then we have lastly our Isan Lasiakezana program, which is the manual clearance of vacant provincial owned land using local municipality as labor. It is an initiative by the department to create jobs and alleviate poverty. The special emphasis is given to youth and women and people with disabilities. The selection process of Isantas and a program is that um, we targeting youth and we liaise with different municipalities where the vacant sites is located. A project steering committee is formed with community representatives and Department of Public Works officials. And then community meetings are then convened whereby the, uh, the participants are, are identified. Uh, the department created about 211 work opportunities in this year uh, for Isantla Ziyak uh, Those are the programs that we have as a department, and we encourage uh, the youth that are visually watching this today to send their questions through our Facebook page so that we can engage going further. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Let me say that Mubebe is the director for youth, women, and people living with disabilities. Sia bonga kuru me presentation yako, mwana kebisa na kama programs that the department is currently offering. Thank you so much, Teddy. Maybe to summarize what Uteli was saying shortly is that we have many programs. There are directly focused to Abandabad. Alayayo, the program, we mentioned Uteli Silubusbune Basari that focuses on built environment. That's a program yokala and wash on my requirements. Ekfanele uwazu gutuwa mite so that uzo wazu qualifier. Genze lugutin jobangishonje so that we are able 
craft them up questions that will be directed if there are any. The second program with Elsila Kulumengai was the internship program, which is the second program. Ashilo Nagio Nugutsbakwana Bandabasha, they have already benefited. We are in the department, we are in the program. Wash on Nuguti, we assign our mentors, the ends are show, Gutumundu, while he's in the program, we are was Guti a benefit and then told along Uvazi as we will with the department. The third program with the Lakulumengalo was ASC's contractor development, of which you even said it's a famous one. And I'm sure we'll be receiving a number of questions relating to this program. The program it focuses from grade one up to six. When a corner foot sends a corner matuba for Osongon Draghi, they are still developing the industry and ensure Uguti corner that they benefit within the, the department. The fourth program with the Lakulumengalo. It was the expanded public works program mentioned within the department we created amatubum savings which are above six thousand we on the financial year as it end of march washington as a department of public works we are responsible in the province for the coordination of epwp which means our department in Oma Spala that are implementing EPWP becomes our public bodies esquazi ukuthi in the whole implementation of EPWP. I will name a few. Ukuthi we ensure ukuthi abantu bakashela ngendlela we ensure ukuthi ama stipends that are paid are aligned to a ministerial determination that is set by the National Minister of Labour. Ukuthi abantu kumele bakholikhelwe malini minimum ongosuku. Ushi we have any program, maybe Zongo Zandla Ziagezana, implemented by the department where we are maintaining Nakona B, whether it's states, uh, properties, or a vacant land uh, that is owned by the state. You want to get our programs there to daily Akulumenga, Onam Kanje, of which we want to know, as you are viewing online in Oma Uku Pila Ukona, you know, Funuguti Nam Kanje, Ubeno Luaz Lao regarding this Lama programs, Eswabali. Our five. So the rule again, man, just see, I could have program here too. See, I come contractors' testimonies, man. La kona se guazile u identify abantu ababili there have benefited and with department through ASC's contractor development program. Sizo wazi guti sibatu le manje. Bazo siletelu kufagazi. Siboni ilu guti, it is not enough for us to convene the session without any proof to say these are the people or these are contractors. Abase basha that have benefited. Obviously, we have assisted more. But in the platform, we have decided about two to share a humble lab, not to be contractor development. This is the tool that we have to do with the company QMN Construction. He is currently on grade one, but already Ukonome Sluko Aubonayo, it department there was a Lutim Sizenayo. This was the man in Kendo Vienna, so this was a shock. was a shock. I 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 and all principles observed. Uh, my name is uh, Andy Lemakai. I'm a contractor currently registered under the ASC as a development program, which is, a, which is an initiative implemented by the Department of Public Works. The ASC as a development program has assisted me in so many ways possible, uh, you, can, you can imagine. It has helped me create structure in, within my organization. It has helped me better liaise with my employees. It has helped me uh, give better skills to help to help me compete within the construction industry. The ASC is a development program. has helped me when I before I, I, I got into the program, I had issues with uh, complying within AMA documents, but the the department ensured that uh, they have workshops and uh, skills development programs 
that will assist young uh, persons, uh, individuals such as myself in better understanding what is required to compete within the construction industry. Uh, these programs have run throughout uh, the year. Like, uh, for example, when when being awarded a, 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 a job uh, or a tender, you need to understand how you liaise with the uh, community and the, the directors which are involved within the the, the with the directors which are involved within the organization. So it it has, hasn't only empowered me as an individual, but it's empowered the community at large. For example, uh, I was working currently working at uh, Sobile Primary School, where the department assisted me in understanding how to communicate with the counselors and empower the community at large. So with that said, I would like to say, brothers and sisters, whoever who's behind this initiative, this is halal, carry on uh, improving our lives and uh, educating us because without discipline and the right skills and the knowledge, that the ASC is a development program, I wouldn't be here today. So thank you. Siabonga Kulu and Dile Gizotanda. Thank you so much, Andile. Gizotanda Manja Ubuti Gibize Uayanda Menyera from the North Coast region, we architect, Watola Ibasari, the department, and Manje, Akubeke, as an architect, and they already have been a few takes run by the department. Over to you, Ayanda Manje. Ayanda. Ayanda. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Over to you, Ayanda. Okay. Thank you very much. Hello. Greetings to our MEC Ms. Ngonyeni, our HOD, Dr. Sharpley, management and colleagues, and all those tuning in today. My name is Sue Amanda. I'm from Esmera Itindel here in Peter Maritzburg. Um, I'm now a professional architect at North Coast Region. Um, just a bit of background on myself. Ayanda, Ayanda. Yes. Sorry to interrupt you. Can you switch on your camera? We want to see you. Okay. Please. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. Thank you. Um, so just a bit of background on myself. Um, uh, I matriculated in uh, Peter Maritzburg Girls High, and it came from a lot of sacrifice and hard work, as well as encouragement from Abba Zaliban. Um, so they were very proud of me when I had um, matriculated with four distinctions. Um, I then went to study at UKZN, a post um, undergrad de um, degree in architecture. Um, so when I was there as a young first year with wonderful metric grades, I struggled to get any form of bursary opportunities like my fellow engineering counterparts and quantity surveying counterparts. So at some point I thought to myself, what have I gotten myself into and the field that I'm in, was it a good idea? And then this is where the department did well. They came in and offered us bursaries um, where they brought in sectors such as architecture, property valuation, construction management um, as in a form of a bursary program. And these sectors, I think, are sectors that were primarily very exclusive. So 
<laughs> that I think that's why it is very hard for us to find opportunities. So I was very I was very glad when I found out about the bursary program. I then applied for it and I was awarded it in my final year in third year when I was um at UKZN. So from there I then um graduated and then moved into the internship program. Um in the internship program, like um the um Mr. Sewer had initially told, you we get offered mentors and we mentored um and we basically guided towards professional registration. Um so that was for about two years. And then I went back to complete my master's and again the department um continued to fund me. Um after completing that funding, I mean after completing my master's degree, I then came back again into the internship program. And that's how I was offered um, I was given a new mentor, Mr. P. Alkuzwai from the North Coast region, and Uyena Ngebela Owang Sazabakulu, as well as the HR um, from the department, and guided me towards completing my um, master's degree. And my final uh, my final marks there as well, I did very well with three, three distinctions as well. So I think what the department has done for me is just unmeasurable, you know what I mean? Without the department, public... Um, the, Dep the Department of Public Works, bursary and internship, I think entering the job market may have been very hard, you know, and therefore not only did I get financial assistance, but I've also been molded into a professional, a professional somebody that, I don't know, coming from where I come from, it might not have happened. So I think what I, what I do now with the support that was given to me by the department, it's solely up to me. So we up to me, but the opportunity has been given to me. And I think um, just in closing, I in closing, <laughs> I would just like to say that the, I would just like to thank the department because public works has played a huge impact in my personal de development. I highly doubt I could have achieved much without their financial assistance as a student and internship program. The mere fact that my school fees were covered allowed me to focus and eventually finished my master's degree. And with the mentor given to me and the support of the HR practitioners, they have played a huge role to me being a professional. I owe a lot to the department. So that's just my take on what the department has done to me. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ayanda with your testimony. Jungo Basis is really so Gilmundo Tandayonje would emphasize our points that were made by our presenters. Gifunubuela Beg, who Andy Le Makage, who's currently a great one, also benefited already with the department through contractor ASCs with development. Andy Le mentioned a very important point. You would enjoy about a corner we ASCs or contractor development. It's not about to toller um sebens to a lungi si scole or a hand so George or tank it will be or a gake in. But beyond that, it department it was I'm fund in terms of skills development U mention ile even kuma remarks ake, uguti e communication, useya was even ukuluma with ama stakeholders at Lugene be whether it's directors, principals of the school, officials within the department, use fundi even the dynamics that are involved in terms of communicating. Ogushuguti e department, it's not only saying nangum seven zik shiganjal, go that it goes an extra mile to say Ukuluma when Zaranje, E. Malzako Uzbegaranje, and Kunigi that U Andile was saying, Usegu benefitile with department. And by that, Sia Bongo, who took corner Squenzayo, Ukshinja in Pilo, Zabanda Basakula, Abane Peshin, Eguyona Le Industry. And we have no doubt, Uti, with e knowledge and Usizual Tolayo, U Andile from a department, Usazo Kula even to them to the next. 
great because in Jongo be great one, but as a fund is in way in Ninganga, who shall one with the current project? I say we are Yenza, a Tobile primary school, also was upgrade. Who fund is you and most say deep you go to when they are New York and information, who say Tolil and it department, it was good to empower Risha, Abandu, Galolong, and Luluas. And in your time, good to. Kuma testimonials way to we're not only focusing when the Bayama tender in construction or the swam Amanda is bringing another element of which Utelina is got a presenter or she looks department in our programs are money that they are running washing the bio basari the internship program and the uses from Uyashola Uyan Buti Uhambele Katilu Matigula Genwake with flying colors, Wahamba, Oyo Fundeli, Akiteke, UKZN, Manga Bese Funda Kona, Futna Kona, Wawaz, Wuta Kubege, Gathe, Afunde, Wapasa, Watoli Internship Program, Ga Public Works, Gitanda, like Tolen Waki Internship Program, because she is saying, we speech is like, she was assigned a dedicated mentor. Ebe Yim Tata from step to by step, Ugut Agwaz, understand the sector she is operating under. Ugusha Ugut Ufundile, Aga Velanganje, Wafira to OK, Velewenza copies or in Nani Nani, and echo related to the field, Aguionaga architecture. And we actually would appeal a lang and turn up internship, but it department. Connect internship program. Yeah, we sell a baker's all in. Yet, you know, it is not enough for your degree. Go back and study your master's degree. And today, she's a woman, she's young, she's empowered by the department. We are born and now go to Musle Ganjani with the master's degree. Okay? And go to the local and the BS job, Lisa Tina, to see Abanda Basha growing. West being a female, Ugut Ugle sector dominated by Abant Ubeslisa, but you know, she's standing tall and she's making Ika Malake. And thank you so much to the mentor, Mr. Kuzwayo. I've noted Ubuti when Zum Seben Zum Muslega Kul. See Abonga Kulu. As a department, but who says all to Lidningi Gakulu Kapagi case at any younger because I know in each and every district, or public works has a footprint, there are offices we are operating, and say I was what it reach to the community. And this is a cool better sense because we want to better our province in Gazo Zonge is in Lela, is Nasas We are moving with our program. In Jenga Manje, we are responding to our um, questions as well. But we will also like to acknowledge Labo Abakubega, your best letter, my comment. I will only read one comment. A camera corner, la Pagui, page letter from Umpik, Am Save. Mapunda. Ufunda Ranje, I quote, this is a great initiative and hopefully it will open up the opportunities to all imaging contractors. See, I'm cool with your comment. I'm sure Nizu Kubega Nispalele Eminye Imiya Lezo will like to read them. Siso Wazu encourage Namupi Namup. And if you know Uguti now benefit with department, please drop us that message, drop that SMS because we want to encourage Bonk Abant Abasha, Abasheze Makaya, Uguti guys, we can do this. See, it's Zinga, le unemployment, le nyuge la kulu manje, njongo basi pegene na le si for COVID-19, a nyuge la matuba, and gusho go nuguti, tina jenga Abant Abasha, kwanele sugume, and come up with new ideas, Uguti, a CP space that we can tap in, and the Sigwazu would see benefit also, and platforms like this that we get in the Wazu would in Tole information. Yeah, I like a manager who hand over because we have received a number of questions from our Facebook page. A Sizotan would see respond the Glauma questions. Keep them coming, keep your comment coming. Niwaz would see this encourage over to you, Mr. Lamini. Uh, thank you, Program uh, Director. Can, can I give you uh, an opportunity to assist daily, uh, Director responsible, to first respond on the questions that she has noted. Then I will I will come in 
and, and respond to those that will be left behind. Thank you. Over to you, uh, Sis Daly. Okay, thank you. Um, Siris, if there are more questions, I have a few. I have a question from Rodney Bengu from Quantitech Trading. Umbuzo wake uti, when will the application or intake for ASCs be? And I would like to be included in all programs of youth development in construction in the near future. Upendu lage lapo. It department is currently uh, finalizing phase three, uh, where ASC is a uh, program, but it database, it remains open, meaning usanga apply, siya kukuze la mandabasha, uguzi ba kubege ba apply, uguze ba wazi, access ama opportunities isi nawo for ama contractors asa kula. So the database remains open, so uh, applications are still uh, open. You can apply to be a beneficiary to participate on all the opportunities that we have under ASC's a contractor mm -hmm. development program. Umbuzo Westbili uvela gu gift mwane. Uti, can I still bid on all ASC's tenders even though I'm not yet registered? Imbendulo iti, no. You only benefit from ASC's tenders or contracts if you are registered under a database AAC. So hence we encourage you to do get yourself registered apply so that make come ama opportunities go back on so that you can participate and benefit from those opportunities. And then lastly, my name is Mu Zindanzi from EL Zama Group. Which I'd like to ask if we have some documentation sent to us with regard to how the ACs the program operates. I believe the more we learn will be the more we develop. Thank you. Um I'm applications AASCs we Ayatolagala we website here too or www.kznworks.gov.za but also Nati office lay youth we can email you so share an email address and number whereby you can request to send the application form. Here it has a good thing and in the documents also think you would want to check your number as a checklist to your application form. Email address here to it's a daily silly dot move at kznworks.gov.za it's a daily sale. Dot move at kznworks. Dot gov. Dot za. And the number I say office. It is zero three 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 double five uh five triple six. It is zero double three triple five three double five. And then five six zero three. So we are to lagalag lezoi number. forms we do encourage you to more youth participate. In fact, the phase is going to encourage all the vulnerable groups to so get so that this was one e social economic transformation in the department. Ila umbuzoge enki ito lile, ikato misitamini, uso sho eminye, ya si encourage uti inge neje imbuzo. Mekone minye nge na yuge sobe sesi kubega si pendul. So ngi buisela kumisitamini. Okay. Um... Thank you very much, Mrs. Um, uh, Udel. Um, maybe umunta katale gule yama testimonials that were made. Abu vego kuhusu ukuzwa straight from the horse's mouth uh, on on how they have benefited. Yes, it's it's not enough. Uh, it can never be enough. Understanding um, the number of uh, young people in our country. As a department, Nati um, Azama, to contribute meaningfully in changing in Pilo Zabanda Basha Zibengono, which reminds me of uh, Amakama, of one of the struggle veterans, Ubaba Oliver Tambo, may his soul rest in peace, who once said that a country that does not take care of its youth, its future is threatened. 
it is uh, very important that as a department we take care of our young people. It's also important as the entire government to ensure that we take care of our young people. And these testimonies are a confirmation that uh, the KZN government and the South African government is government at work. Um, uh, we will continue to ensure that we have Abandabasha who are succeeding in life. But at the same time, we must ensure that we have um, responsible young people Abasheli and awareness to us again. And now, there are specific questions that we have received. Um, and um, my, my suggestion um, to our panel would be that we share our email address and uh, direct contact uh, details so that when we go to our Facebook page, we are able to also uh, respond adequately uh, to each and every individual who has posed a, a, a question. There is also a, a question from uh, Omar Keva from Peckville. I'm, I'm not sure if it's uh, the speaker of uh, Okasamba local municipality, but it was Nayo uh, Omar um, Not necessarily a question, so to say, but he says that as a department, we should also consider uh, the rural areas um, in, in, in our program, uh, which is a critical point. Uh, yes, it could be with number challenges in terms of accessing um, uh, our website, for an example, Uma uh, Semakaya, but we also appeal to let's forge a partnership with Omaspala in ensuring that we work collectively in changing in Pilos Abantabasha because as a public works department on our own, we cannot do it. We'll do it when we work collectively with the local municipalities, our mayors, uh, our councillors, uh, and the general public. Uh, uh, when we all work as a collective and all work as a team towards Pilos Abantabasha Zibengon, there's a fact we can't run away from. Our country is becoming younger and younger, meaning that um, um, they will inherit uh, uh, this country at some point. Now, whatever we do, we prepare Abantabasha for Impilo Ezogwazi, Uguti, Ikubegi, say, easy, and not Kubegi, say. Ukutuga, uh, not was an engism Africa. Sibonga Kulu, Nagu MEC, Ogazi, Uguti. A, 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 a program may find an alena a embrace and the air show with a Sunday, the Batabasha, Sibanigas information as far as our programs are concerned, as, as the department yaga, yaga, yaga public works. So I would, I would, I would then uh, appeal to at the end of our program, who, who is still is a director responsible for youth, a share, share her contact details. We'll also share our contact details with EPWP coordination because back on Abandabasha, we always raise our concerns with regards to EPWP. We do have a director responsible for coordination, Umama Unwanda Dube. Besses by a no director, Umama Ukumalu, who's also responsible for departmental EPWP. All, all in all, as the official Uti Abantabasha, Bay Bugi e Department of Public Works, as e Department Nayo Ezoba in Nye E Kambiseni, a normal exchange in Bilozabo Zibang Jung Abantabasha. Now, good luck, questions are my a technical because good corner are my young and which are technical. We, we, we will then have to respond um, directly to our Facebook page or take our um, details about our proposal, our questions, and then respond through emails so that we, we have paper trail on how we've responded and Siwazine um, uh, uh, will respond adequately to the satisfaction of each and every young people who has posed a question. Can, can I then um, just check if there's still more uh, questions, specific questions? over to the HOD and uh, I'm also um, uh, aware that the MEC is is going to be part of our workshop very soon but uh, because there's still more questions coming in let me also give an opportunity to my colleague um, uh, 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 to, to to respond while we, we we wait for the MEC to come in as well.
Okay, thank you, Sabonga. Uh, my questions are looking at Nile. A question is at the Uyu receiver, it's a number where is the office uh, for us to get information for youth opportunities? Sine uh, office a youth based a head office uh, 191 Prince Alfred Street, a Peter Maritzburg, but a Naguma district is in Wama office at public works, uh, whereby Umune. Umone Mbuzo, no ufuna any information a youth related a Sisebenzi Sana Nama officials, Lawaga, EPWP, a Mukalanji office, Lano EPWP, a Bas of Busiza, then a Mugutiga in Buzo, a continent that's a head office, Babas Ukumanis and Nati, a head office which is in Peter Marisbeg. So, Saint Lucian has a little class in travel and his office in the little base, the Marisbeg, Siabas Uguti, a Mrs. Agaleguma district offices. And then, uh, umbuzo omunye esu todile. Uh, in fact, it's a comment. E, 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 e vela gu nongkabunguni. Uti, we thank the department for creating a space for youth to be fully integrated into the construction sector through the, inter through the internships offered by the department. Department through internships. And then good day. Can you please take us step by step on how to register on ASC's program? A Gibati, any question lay a sing guy answer directly to Pegu, Gui and Umten Bailey, a Gengaguti, he got his cousins and asked us step by step, but in John Shiloh, who called the application, a scenario, a Tolagala website here to your department, a Leo application, Nia Casa, who would see Utingu Colisegan. Jani no uti mapa ama documents o tinga uti uwa ateche musuifagi li application. But mune nginga plampege yo uti kukona izi ndo onga e kondi kate kui no munga understand the application. Then you can call our offices kuma details so ashera at the end of the program. We are going to come and announce me. We are going to come and conduct a party. Jee, it's a simple application. A bag of number attachments. Some members have mentioned a few who sitting at your CIT, especially who graduate from your CIT document. We are thinking about the Uber registered company. We are thinking about the Usfagele your proof of address. Go back. I I S C I implement at the district level. We want to change. We want to send the show. We want to abandon the Maglau Mat districts by a beneficiary from Amatuba Akam guy. So so many those in the thinking are like we party. If you think more information, you can send the office later. You are not imposed or even sites or anything. So we can always sell and facilitate. Thank you so much, um, the Lisile. I've also received a question, maybe in the order, that relates to EPWP. Probably let me take this opportunity to respond, Giona. A question if on the it people in Scott are left out. How can we get work? If we can respond in the lane be program because we have ASCs way contractor development of which we daily we be say kazile ngao but in your phone ASCs way contractor development it's a program that is district based. Ogu shuguti ukokstad jongo ba ufola anda uheri kwala district. Zonki in contractors apply from grade one up to six. This will benefit in that district. Maga begu kona imsebenzi egwazi upum. But on the side of employment, in jongo bute ligate eshi luguti 
is responsible now for EPWP. O EPWP, there is departmental one of which Umpatu Mr. Lamini indicated that O Mrs. Kumalo who is responsible for one as a director departmental. One of my programs, the Swens IO, I can name a few to say we have a school maintenance program. We program the end of March, basically implement that in the previous financial year. Where we were targeting 100% youth, Siba Plaza Ekoleni to maintain Ekol. Leo program we are go match, but it has occurred in this financial year and it be implemented across the province. The recruitment is about the end and the process here to be transparent and following the the approved recruitment and selection guidelines. A promoter a kulu uksebenzi swago OSS and 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 warum in terms of how we are recruiting, but again. Who come on the other side of EPWP? Last year, we as a department are also responsible for the coordination of EPWP in the province, of which I am responsible for that. Of which we a program we manage. See, we are no must be so much pala. We program to implement a ganjan. Number one, all must pala are receiving EPWP integrated grant each and every year. But there is a qualifying criteria. Ensure you would see you should have achieved what in the previous financial year a expenditure. So we are not spend the ganjan. There is so many things that are involving in order to receive a grant in the next financial year. But how much is in the province? By the way, how much is business plan? Masters budgetly led through national public works because in Zotola so much a develop a business plan and the Cox that is one of the municipalities now also submit higher a business plan a series of multi project list outlining all programs that will be implemented in that financial year. They even indicate the number of work opportunities that will be created each and every project. So Tinaga is co coordination. We ensure what the business plan is in place. It's a there is recruitment and selection here, which is approved by the municipal council in that space of the municipalities. What is Okasha Ganji? See, ensure you should buy a Bakasha Bantu, a Bantu Banazin, Tizazoxabens, like your PPE, Bavigeleki with gloves if they expose in the windows, is Naba, is Nawaz, which is Bali Maz. We also need to ensure what in Lababanta Bakashi, where they are able to be captured under the EPWP reporting system. System, or we own a system that we are using as a country in South Africa to record job creation relating to EPWP. So, since we also ensure that we are not going to report in the system, Bahola Malini is the, their salaries or their daily wage in line with e wages. So, currently we are sitting at 92 Rand 31 cent as a minimum. So, since we also pay a little as coordination, we are system even as go as far as reviewing a matter document because what we are promoting as the coordinating department is that I'm a project A to we emphasize and advocate that they should be done labor intensively. Or we should we are promoting such and so in Isanda Kakulu than in Shin. So even as long as you get less, as we see assistance as or or maspala we do our induction, uh, the baguas or maspala understand what is the program? What is the program? A nice visit in the last financial year, almost in kind, young a yeah 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 was on that. Where we've been in that thing, council and management on the program of EPWP. So these are the things and Singapore even to link because I believe in that they do have a number of programs about when they are under EPWP and it was launched in J. I think in the last last week or the two weeks back, maybe launch any any program. Program and I've seen even on media where the, the mayor and our honorable MEC Ushomuga were partaking on, 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 on that launch under EPWP. So we are involved and we are assisting municipalities to ensure that they implement this program. That you've been saying even to our public bodies and the 
department is that lama programs the swaletai you as ensuring she pelubuti they reach the poor of the poorest because EPWP umsebenz with kashan agionu permanent employment so manga lebo umsebenz with kashan na gushu gutu zopel kodwa awutu pel anje gubu guti uwa ziluk fingelela and wenzu masugo ulabo bantu otolu gutu but is ever a pool but bakona la baba most deprived and bukona lem den egg la long ne kolut. That's where our focus is. Let us ensure ubutige nati si a was a contributor so that habant mo abalala belile through this program is it under our pool. Di tela uku buise la gu mister Damini. Um, thank, thank you very much, uh, uh, Nobanda. Um, there is quite a lot of uh, comments that are coming in from different uh, uh, districts. Um, before the lockdown, there were planned uh, um, um, Road shows, Labe cities, Funu Kambela corner in the Reza Shugashugene, and meet uh, Aban Abasha uh, individually. Uh, have one on one engagements with them in, in their various uh, districts. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we could not continue with our program. But soon, Uma Seguaz, Seguazi, Ugu Vagashel in Dao. Uh, rest assured, the young people in Senda Winza Semakaya will definitely come to you and uh, empower you with necessary um, and information. But none is it for any action in the action in the engage in the department. Go back to those who are challenging. We should not go on again. there's been uh, quite a lot of comments and uh, questions uh, that were raised. There is also testimonials that came from um, the, the young people. I'm sure you would also want to make some reflection on, 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 on these uh, comments and, con and, and contributions towards uh, the workshops. And can I then give you an opportunity to make that refle uh, reflection, uh, Dr. Shapley? Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Lamini, and also thank you uh, to the team. Uh, and also to the questions and comments that have come from uh, the various districts. Uh, let me start by saying that um, if we can present opportunities uh, to young people, uh, but young people must have that desire and drive and passion to want to use those opportunities to better themselves. Because if you, if you listen uh, to the testimonials, we cannot um, carry anyone through their lives, but rather give them the opportunity to start their own journey in their lives. And, and we, we're really grateful that uh, those who are presented with an opportunity, they are able to take them forward. It, it is very disturbing when you hear a contractor say that they are an emerging contractor for 20 years. Now, something's gone wrong and it cannot be uh, the blame cannot be taken outside of that contractor because they must take responsibility for their own. Uh, and government is not the only source of opportunities, but you become, government gives you that a platform so that you become a contractor, then you become marketable in all other sectors. I know that is a hard uh, pill to swallow, but that's the actual reality. On the side of ASEs, where managing contractors that that, that, that rests on the database. When you submit your registration, please do not make the assumption that everything is okay. Get someone to give you advice whether you have submitted the correct information. And we also asking, we have 15,000 applications on the database and when Delhi and Mr. Flamini go through them, you'll find that there's some people who are, um, who, who are caterers but they've submitted onto the ASCs or database. Uh, be certain that you are submitting because you are a contractor and you want to develop yourself as a contractor. And you're not submitting just for the sake of submitting and hoping something comes out of it. 
there has to be a level of seriousness and 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 also the ability because if you are given uh, a job to go to a construction site and you don't even have ikiriva uh, wheelbarrow uh, that would be not good uh, for either us as the department who needs service delivery and for you as a person that needs to be developed so so we're saying that before you submit your application onto the database and i made the analogy of someone who submits on the database gets home and says okay now i'm waiting to get a job it's not going to happen that way uh, what's going to happen is that if you prepare your documentation get some advice whether it's from the N- nyda whether it's from our district office somebody will listen to you to check your paperwork if it meets the uh, necessary requirements so by the time you submit everything is certified everything is in its place and and you're quite aware that that uh, there's no comebacks so you won't be uh, thrown aside when opportunities come when the opportunities do uh, uh, and we and they happen i mean we constantly we advertise on a friday when those opportunities take place uh, you would find that you as a contractor your responsibility then is to actually then submit a quotation and when you submit a quotation there must be a level of uh, research put into that so if we say go to a school in inanta and all the windows are broken the ceilings are broken uh, you need to do some repairs to that uh, to that school you 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 cannot just uh, submit a quotation and say i will do this and this is the price there's got to be a bill of quantities you must follow the procedure make, so that we can assess uh, that you know what you are doing and when you uh, submit your 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 quotation you are in competition with others as well um something that uh, the other day an ASC's a contractor gave me a call and asked um the department has sent me a request to extend the validity of a tender now the problem is you uh, the department if a tender the processes are taking longer than expected the department will send a request to extend the validity of the tender to all uh to, to all those who have tended um so 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 what what has happened i said uh, i said to this individual because they called me and said i think i have won a tender they said no you haven't won a tender the department is contacting you because uh, the processes are taking longer than they expected to so you're going to uh, we need an extension so that has been sent to everyone so we must try our best as hard as the situation is and the economy is we must try our best to locate our processes as young people outside of our emotional desire uh, to be granted opportunities let's be realistic let's apply common sense let's make sure that we uh, give our all into those so so i explained to this young person that no because you were asked to extend the validity uh, you are the same as every other tender that is there so it's not that you've been awarded the tender the other thing that we want to ask young people is that if someone approaches you and says they have an opportunity uh, they've got a letter of appointment please do not part with your money with someone asking you for money so that you can be given an opportunity whether it's a government official if it's a government official come and report them to us but there are there are no opportunities that come easy you're going to follow a process and that process uh, it's not just if you give me x amount you've got this tender those things don't happen that's criminality that's corruption and that is something you need to stay away from if you're building a, a life for yourself as a contractor build it on a clean foundation knowing that when you do bigger opportunities uh, you know that where you started was not something uh, that was that was uh, fabricated or based on a lie the last point mr lamina i apologize for speaking so long the last point i want to make is that um there's an assumption that young people if they are given opportunities the quality is not good now i don't believe that and we must prove 
those uh, doomsayers uh, wrong and make sure that when we go onto sites, we give an equal opportunity and, and the best quality and we deliver on time within budget because the department has changed to become a service delivery focused department. And the three areas that we are focusing on in service delivery is to deliver a project on time, to deliver it within budget, and to deliver it with the quality that is expected or better. So if you, if you follow that, because we want you to make money if you're in business. We need you to make money uh, so that you can grow. But you're not going to make money at the expense of your own taxes. You're going to make money fair and square, and uh, you need to please be uh, mindful of that. And also how you spend the money that you make, make sure that it comes back into growing your business and developing you. When it comes to, uh, I, I heard that question uh, uh, facilitator around Cockstad and the EPWP opportunities. EPWP is a very creative uh, poverty alleviation strategy in our country that is Omaya, that our government is able to take uh, the pain of the poor and give some opportunity. Now, in that opportunity, there are uh, obviously threats, and the one threat is that there's a manipulation of the process. And we, we always call upon political leadership and those who are in community leadership and uh, in municipalities to make sure that uh, they, they keep that, that process as clean as possible so that people share this opportunity so that they can have uh, uh, bread on their tables. Let me run stop the facilitator. Thank you, Mr. Lamini, for the opportunity. Thank you so much, Thank you so much. for your comments and clarity in many issues that we raised. Um, maybe for me, Ogwa Manje, I would like to share Ama details because we've made a commitment to say we will share the details of who direct abilities who they listen but we'll also post them in 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 our Facebook page uh, assisted by communication. But in the question, we are told that we are the email address is like who they listen s i l e dot mube. M N C U B E at kznworks.gov.za. The will pin that will spell uh, it's D E L I S I L E dot M N C U B E at kzn w o r k s dot gov dot z a. Inomboloya ke yokingo is cell it's four eight one. Double seven six four. I look pin that zero seven two four eight one double seven six four. Ilen line ya se office ni we are tola galana corner it's zero double three three double five five six zero three. Itela we pin that zero double three three double five five six zero three. Information is so big. I see post a good www a case at nworks dot gov dot z a gizo bamba u u shoti um shoti you can come in um thank you so much I I also just and apologies for coming come back in. yes can you hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, facilitator, you can hear me? I'm, I'm sure you can hear me. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, facilitator, I, I just also received a, a WhatsApp with a few questions and comments, and one would understand the apprehension of young people that uh, the system seems much bigger than who they are and what they need in their lives. Um, I want to just uh, maybe 
ask young people that remember everyone, every single one of us has a story to tell. We all have a history. We all have things that have happened in our lives uh, because we, we were not in a normal society. We, we grew up in an abnormal society. And the young people of today are, are, are feeling the effects of that ob abnormality in them having the opportunities and yet you are in an environment uh, that is that was not normal and unequal. And if you understand that context, you will then be able to say that um, I have to do things differently as a young person and nothing is going to be put on my lap and I will go out and I will make something of myself. I will knock on doors until one of the doors is the appropriate door. Because when a door closes and you're knocking for an opportunity, um, if you pray for an opportunity, never ever want that opportunity at all costs, because it will cost you at the end. Because if you want it at all costs and it just doesn't seem to be working, it's not meant to be. The opportunity that is for you, that you are prepared for, sacrificed for, worked for, will open its door and it will happen. Because if you want an opportunity at all costs, it could be the very opportunity that might just destroy your potential for what you should be doing. So when you uh, give a, go for an opportunity and you've done everything to make that opportunity happen, uh, I would not get into those conspiracy theories of trying to figure out why I didn't get the opportunity. But I'd rather say that this one is not mine. Let me move on. Let me try and do something else. Now, we throw around this word opportunity very loosely. Remember, government is not a source of employment. And government is, not, is a very small uh, opportunity when it comes to construction because the private sector... Uh, it, when it comes to building of private homes, and there's a range of other, uh, the banks have a panel of contractors that work for them. So there are many other opportunities. So you might start by government, but you need to move on. Now, the understand the word opportunity in the context of that saying that uh, you have to do a job, you have to be uh, productive, you must be constructive, you, you must be uh, someone that we would want to give another job to. Yes, we'll follow the processes, but if you have done a good job, you finished the job on time, uh, there were no major issues on site. You, obviously, you, that goes onto your CV and your profile of your company, and you are able to then tender for more work with that same, or if you go into the private sector. The problem we have as government, there is a perception that if you do construction work for government, you can make more money. And in the private sector, uh, there's at least a 30% uh, uh, premium when people tender in government, uh, saying that we government is slow, government takes its time, government doesn't pay, and all those perceptions. Now, you can have that in your mind, but not as your modus operandi as a business person. Your simple solution is to say, I'm a young person. I know what I'm doing. There are some who are not necessarily, don't necessarily have an education, but they are passionate and they know what they're doing. And they can go onto a site and they make, make that site work. The other thing is when you're on a site, please make sure you pay the minimum wages. Please do not exploit because you are being given an opportunity, make sure you pass that opportunity so that you will be blessed with more opportunities. So there, there are, um, we, we, and also the, the construction site itself, and ensure that the local people benefit so that you will always have this uh, um, add-on effect. To those who get our bursaries, uh, and there are bursaries that come out every year, is to say that when that person is working, they are able to look back and say, I am developed and I will develop. So they will become mentors at some point. They will help others to become better people. Um, uh, facilitator, I, I, this is a, a very, very serious uh, matter in the department, as you are aware. 
and and we really that's why we appointed a, the MEC honourable MEC appointed a youth director because we need a focus. We want to do things differently. We're not doing enough, and we want to always uh, show and prove that we can add value and change that legacy uh, that our country has 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 has, uh, has been in. I want us that in this uncertainty, in this uh, toxic background that we have as a country, that we'll find some way of making people to their children that I can feel that my country changed, I can feel this democracy. Thank you, Chair. Thank you so much, Shobi. Bonga, that you pave a way and show our slides uh, with your comments. I am motivated uh, being a facilitator, listening to you, the wisdom that you carry. Uh, I can really feel, Uti, you are changing someone's life. Othe Zekaya, right now, you are changing someone's life. Ostre Mayo, who's watching someone we have lost hope, but with your words, I can really say you have encouraged them. And Uba Uusfundise is in this name. I like even the one that they, you want to see the level of seriousness. Gubona even ama contractors, if they submit even ama documents to the department, abandubanga submit in just to submit. But the document must show that this person is really hungry to get this a, a, a development that the department is currently running. And you've mentioned things that are very critical for someone who's still growing and who wants to be developed in the industry. The issues that you've raised in terms of ensuring on contract that get work, finish their work on time uh, within the set budget and equality should never be compromised. Manga bebe bayenza yodro i department gala umazwe owazile ugutu snige wana and to encourage us. There are fees for to go show a bona bonga that are viewing Ukuti Ugusho Ukuti e Department of Public Works air advertiser every Friday. We saw less with newspaper in Mercury as well as the government tender bulletin. A one gala platforms and get wash or manjo e department in Jalangolosano. If there is anything that we want to communicate, communicate with our community, e corner lies keep a corner, be whether it a tender, be whether um sebenzi, no manga be in that we want to communicate. Please ensure that you get yourself that copy of Iso Leswe that copy of a Mercury newspaper and you do also visit the government tender bulletin and you also ensure that you visit uh, our website, a website page here to its www.kznworks.gov.za Mausungi nile ule website ensure that you go under tenders. Mau click at the tab is obisi agwazi ugugniga yonke info Machine, Enga Bengsi, Postile, Gasosonke, Lesoskati, Siabonga Kulu. I will also hand over back to our SOD, Dr. Gasta Sharply. Over to you, SOD. Um, thank you, facilitator. I, I apologize, Timane uh, Ngenela Kulu, Koto Ngembeko, who is Slalo, no Babu Tlamini. Uh, we, we did expect our Honorable MEC to join us. Uh, as you are aware, our Honorable MEC, um, and uh, as I was speaking earlier about we all have a history and we all come from somewhere. Uh, you might see our MEC as this, uh, as an MEC, but I see as the activist who suffered and went through a lot of pain to help our democracy become a reality. And she being an MEC gives us that ability for to have someone who understands the pain of apartheid, 
personally uh, through various ways uh, who is able to then lead us. And that's why when the MEC calls us to our office and says, I want you to focus on women and youth, and I am not going to compromise. I want EPWP to be the program that is a flagship in public works. I know that the MEC is not just saying that as our, our, as our political head of the department. She's saying that because she's experienced the pain of suffering. She knows how our people are suffering. And uh, this morning, the MEC uh, is joined other MECs to launch the One Garden, One Home program in Ilembe because the MEC is the, uh, is the, the, the district champion there and expected to be back in time. But uh, obviously, that program is taking a, bit, a little bit longer. I have watched our MEC in action and how her heart melts when we are and doing it practically and actually implementing service delivery. And we want you as young people that when we go to your site, uh, to, we must be able to be so proud of the work that you've done that we choose your site for the MEC to go and hand over and, and give the beneficiaries. Our MEC is also the MEC of human settlements. And we know that human settlements, this country uh, stripped our people of their dignity when uh, we could not own homes. Now with the with democracy, not only is the dignity restored by a title deed to a community member, but that community member is also given a shelter over their heads. When our MEC hands over homes, we know that our MEC is doing it with that history of, of struggle, that history of knowing that this pain has to end at some point. Yes, the problem is bigger. Yes, the backlogs are high, but it does not mean we must not do anything. Let's do what we can uh, together and make this a, a better country. Let's make our province a better place. So sincere apologies for the MEC and thank you so much, uh, particularly to Mr. Klamini and the team and to the facilitator. Uh, and also I've been observing the questions and comments and we know young people, it is frustrating and lip service and talk does not create opportunities, but we're saying that the lip service and talk that we are giving you should be your ammunition to then chase an opportunity, find that opportunity, implement that opportunity, and improve your lives. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, um, SOD, with those comments. I will then hand over to Mr. Lamin. Lots of thanks. Um, thank you. Over to you, Mr. Lamin. Uh, thank you very much, um, uh, Program Director. Um, let me take this opportunity and um, uh, thank our young people uh, all over the province of KwaZulu Natal and beyond for participating in this workshop. Uh, we do understand through your comments and your contributions that uh, you, are well, you are willing to work with us uh, as a department and you are also uh, encouraging or inviting the department into your various uh, we will do as, as, as a department. We are also going to develop a, a booklet um, that will guide you through uh, on how you go about uh, being part of AES's database with a, a specific checklist on, on what is required and uh, that booklet will also be made available um, online through the assistance uh, of our uh, department as well. As a department, we also want to mention that we are busy uh, setting up an incubation program that will be a provincial-wide program because the MEC and the HOD has directed um, uh, us to ensure that in whatever we do, we consider the, the young people, uh, women, but also central to that is the formation of cooperatives 
so that they are able to do uh, business with, with, with government and our department to be specific. So we are going to also be rolling out this incubation program with to, to, to district because we have adopted a district development model as a province of KwaZulu-Natal being directed by the, uh, by the president. We, we, we really appreciate uh, your time as well, uh, HOD, uh, and being part of this workshop. Um, and the MEC in absentia, and I, um, um, the MEC will be on Ikakas FM um, uh, to further information on, on, on this topic uh, for our visual workshop. She is going to be uh, in Ikakas at around um, uh, 11.30. Uh, so we also uh, invite young people to be part of, 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 of that program in, in, in Ikakasi FM. Thank you very much to colleagues as well and also young people who came through and shared their testimony uh, with other uh, people, uh, young people in, in the province, which is very uh, inspirational. It's also motivating to hear young people speak for, speak for themselves on how they have been assisted by the department. We also appeal to those that have been assisted by the department to lead by example. They must not uh, unnecessarily spend uh, uh, the money that they are receiving through their hard work. They must be uh, responsible so that they, 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 they give a, a true reflection uh, of what uh, responsible young people do when they are given a responsibility uh, to make Imperio Zabanyabantu Zibengono and also Ukututugisa Umnoto Asenengizim Africa. I also want to take this opportunity to thank uh, a team, uh, our organizing team, uh, for ensuring that uh, this uh, workshop becomes a success. We know we are working under very difficult conditions uh, of COVID-19. We also want to appeal to Abandabasha Utbenga Biu Vanzi, Abasale Makaya, uh, only when it's necessary and uh, to ensure they, they, they adhere to to a lockdown because Africa is dependent on uh, So we want to keep them as safe as, as possible. Uh, Thank you very much.